here. So today I want to make a video about something that has been requested so many times and I always say, yeah, I'll do it, yeah, I'll do it, but I'm doing it today and that is control journal. So when I first started Fly Lady, one of the biggest take home messages for me was good enough is good enough. And so I just grabbed whatever binder I had, which was this purple one, and I just filled it with my Fly Lady stuff. But I decided that I've been doing the Fly Lady system long enough that it's time to treat myself. I'm gonna make myself a brand new control journal with this really pretty binder that I got. It's a really good time to get uh, school supplies cheap because it's back to school time. So I grabbed this really cute binder and it came with these really pretty dividers. So while the function will be the same and you certainly do not need to go out and get a brand new binder or brand new supplies, it's just gonna look a little bit nicer. So I was just excited to kind of jazz my binder up a little bit. And I thought it was a perfect opportunity to go through it in detail with you and show you what I have in my journal and also show you what you could put in yours. Not everybody has to have the same control journal. We all have different lives. We all have different houses. We all live in different places. So customize it to meet your needs. So I'll show you what's in mine and then I'll put a few ideas at the bottom in the uh, details about what you could put in yours. So, first things first, you definitely need dividers. So I used to have this regular old dividers and now I have these nice fancy ones. So I'll just put those right in here. I really like to use a binder, like a three ring binder versus a, a notebook, just because then you can take things in and out and if you need to modify things, you don't need to rewrite the whole page. The first section of my control journal is my cleaning list. And I have this first page, which just details Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what I do on each day, and I'll detail it below, and then my zones. So the second page, I have my morning routine, which I don't even check off anymore. But when you first get started with this system, it's really helpful to have the list and go through and check it off as you go so you don't forget everything. I just have everything memorized now, so I don't really check it off. Then I have my evening routine as my next page. And then after that, I have my zones. So I have my little zone coloring page that I made when I did my zone setup. And then I just have all my zone pages. And when I do my zone cleaning, I actually pull the page right out and I take it with me as I clean so I can check it off. The other thing I do, especially with my cleaning pages, is I put everything in these plastic covers. So I bought a new package of plastic protectors because I've run out. Um, they're not expensive. You can even get them at the dollar store, but I was at the stationary store. So just little plastic paper protectors. And then when you're doing your checklist, you can just use a dry erase marker and use the page over and over and over. So that's something I really like to do. And I'm going to put that right here at the front. It's not even behind a tab because for me, my control journal is the, the main thing I use it for is my cleaning list. So it's just right in there. The other thing I really like about my old control journal is I have a little calendar here. I really like having this because especially with zones, it just helps you. So I'm gonna put that right in there. This is a 2019 one, so hopefully I can find a new one for 2020. So I really like having that there. Okay, so moving on. So the next tabs that I have in here, I have a to-do tab, and under my to-do tab is nothing because I generally don't write a to-do list every day. Sometimes I do, like if I get overwhelmed or if I need to pack, or if I'm going on a trip and I need to remember a bunch of stuff, but for the most part, I don't write one every day. But I thought I would, so I have a to-do section. So that's something you could add in if you're doing a to-do list every day. So the next section is to buy. So it's a list of things that I wanted to buy for our house. Same thing, I never ended up using it. Then meal planning section, and this is one that I actually did use. So this is what I'm gonna transfer over to my new book. So the first page is my big list of meals that we make in our house. And I just like that because when I go to do my meal planning, I don't have to re-rack my brain for our common meals. I can just go and look and see what we've made before and then just build a meal plan off of that. So meal planning is going to be the first section because it's the second most common thing I use. I also will put some new sheets of paper behind that list because that's where I write my meal plan. I what I also have in my old meal planning section is a lot of my recipes. So I have my bun recipe that I really like, my Play-Doh recipe, and recently 
I've started to print off recipes from the internet that I really like. So if I know that I've made something that I'll use again, I'll print it off and then I'm going to put it in the next section, which is going to be recipes. So my third section is recipes. Now my fourth section I have is projects and projects is a big one for us and what we have in my house right now is just this loose sheet of paper. I'll see if I can find it. This is our to-do list. Do you probably have this in your mind? You know, oh, I need to change that light bulb. I need to fix that shower curtain. I need to paint that wall, whatever. Whatever your list of projects are, you can make a whole section about it in your control journal. And for us, this is really gonna help and I will transcribe this onto here. And it will help because it will be here instead of on a loose piece of paper. So I'm really going to try and get everything in one spot. And that's what the control journal really is, is like a central organizer for your home. So that's our project to do kind of section. So I'm going to fill that out, move that into there. Um, then I have a section called ideas and I love my idea section. And right now it's a list of suggestions that I've gotten from comments on the videos about what other videos you want me to make. So, oh, here's summer bucket list, um, meal planning, setting up zones, control journals. So some of them I've already done, some of them I haven't. But I'm going to make a section for ideas and I'm going to keep it right here. The other thing you could do is just like ideas, lists, things you want to do, your bucket list, places you want to travel, just a place to keep all your lists handy. Then I have a section called cleaning, so clearly I thought that could be at the back. No, no, that had to be at the front, so I don't need that one in there anymore. And the last section I have in my old book is budget. So that's another really good section, and my husband and I have been really working on budgeting in the last year. So we've been on a budget this year, but right now it's just kind of a mental check. But it would be really nice to get a budget, so I'm going to leave the budget section in there. And so that's it. Oh, this was my old morning and evening routine checklist that I put in laminated paper that I used to keep. So this is what I used to check off. So that was really handy too. So you could use a list in your book or you could make a separate sheet like that. Whatever works for you. In terms of what you need to fill this, you can get as fancy as you want. There are all kinds of really cool printables for meal planning and cleaning zones and daily routines on the internet. I'm sure you know how to use Google and Pinterest. Um, but you can also just be super simple like me. I just use my loose leaf paper and I write my lists and I just do my best because the most important thing is that the content is there. The book doesn't have to look fancy. The most important thing is that you are getting things done. So that was kind of how I felt about my old book. It wasn't fancy, but I tried instead of focusing on making a fancy list of things to do, I tried to focus on actually doing the things I needed to do and it worked really well. So it's been a year and a half, I've been using this book and it's been so good to me, but it's time to say goodbye and I'm moving on to my fancy new book. Notice it's also purple, I love purple. So that's that, that is my control journal. You can put more stuff into it if you like, you can put less stuff, all you could just keep just your cleaning list in it if you want. Totally up to you. I hope you um, were able to get a few ideas for your control journal on here and maybe just clarify what it is and what it's used for. And if you've made one up for yourself, I would love to see it. And any other ideas you have for sections, please share with me in the comments or on Instagram. I'll put my little link below and just let me know how you're doing with everything, how it's going this summer. It's crazy around here and we're headed out for a vacation in two days, so I'm going to be packing like crazy today. Let me know how you're doing. I would love to hear from you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.